Jumbo from Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm here today in front of their beautiful Christmas tree to check out all of the Christmas and holiday treats, decorations, and merchandise that they've got inside. So without further ado, let's get going. Each of the four Disney parks has their own Christmas tree and the Animal Kingdoms is actually outside of the park. I love this tree. I'll show you a little bit close up on the ornaments here. I love this tree because the ornaments look very crudely made, almost like they were made in Africa or made in Asia or just put together by some locals. And I also love it because as you can see right there, there's a Mickey right there. It's got plenty of Disney flair to it too, as well as really sticking with the Animal Kingdom theme. So this is probably my favorite of the trees. I also love it because, you know, there's little nods to a lot of the Disney characters that are animals. We've got the Winnie the Pooh characters here, Piglet, got Kenga and Roo, Eeyore's over here. Really, really cute. Got the Jungle Book down here. I really love all of the different touches that they've put in here from the Lion King on this tree. Let's check out a little bit more of the tree. Got more. Disney characters over here. I see Jiminy Cricket and I love this Chip and Dale snow globe. We've also got a Rafiki block down there and also a little Tarzan ornament. Take your time to look around here. We've got Stitch down here on the Rafiki's wildlife train and even more amazing ornaments on this tree. All right, I've got a tip for you guys. There are two awesome photo pass opportunities before you even enter the park. Here's one at the foot of the tree, and the second is right on the side. If you're looking at the Animal Kingdom entrance, it's immediately to the right. I love this backdrop. You get in this little kind of picture frame. It's got snow all over it, really cute winter wonderland type scene, and you step right inside there, and it is included with photo pass. You can scan your band. These are two great photo opportunities to grab before you even get inside the park. Discovery Island is where you're going to find most of the Christmas decorations and definitely the bulk of the Christmas merchandise. So I want to take a walk over here. Let's start at Island Mercantile. They've got some beautiful garland. And again, all of the decorations here at the Animal Kingdom are going to look almost handmade give you a close-up look at this beautiful garland here all natural supplies used to make these ornaments which is really cool got lots of themed wreaths hanging on the lamp posts here get a little close-up view there you can see there's tiny little animals I see a little elephant there Maybe that's a rhino there. All of the decorations here have little animal flares through all of them. So make sure you keep a keen eye out when you're looking at the decorations to make sure you catch all the animal touches. Here we are outside Discovery Trading Post. We've got these really cute animals. They used to be in rivers of light. These little birds and animals that look just like them. They had floating floats that had these animals on them. This is kind of a tribute to the old rivers of light show that used to be here. Again, really pretty garland and the animals all lining the roofs here. I'm sure they look gorgeous at night. I'm gonna head inside Discovery Trading and see what they have in terms of merch. Yeah. Heading inside Discovery Trading to check on their Christmas merchandise. It's the first display when you walk in. They've got plenty of these Mickey holiday bags in here, which is awesome. These are gingerbread scented candles. I've never seen this one anywhere else. This really cute holiday cheer serving plate. That's adorable. I've also never seen these ornaments anywhere else either. Really cute, very flat Mickey ornaments. They're double-sided, so you could either have this side facing out or the sweater side facing out. Got some reusable grocery bags you can purchase in here too. Really cute musical tree. This is really cute. Cookies for Santa with a little milk jug and a straw and a plate. That's really cute if you've got kids. That's a great gift idea. I would have loved as a kid to put out this set for Santa every Christmas. Lots of home items here in Discovery Trading. A lot more than I've seen in the other theme parks. We've got a tree skirt, a little cute Christmas countdown here. Really, really nice, high quality porcelain figurines of Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. 
as well as a musical figurine of Mickey there, some ornament sets, some stockings. Really cool. We've got another tree skirt over here. Some stationery, a Mickey wreath, and even more little decorations to put around your house. Cutest Christmas plush display hands down goes to Discovery Trading here at the Animal Kingdom. You can get Mickey and Minnie all dressed up in their Christmas finest, looking really cute. Chip and Dale, if you have trouble telling them apart like a lot of people do, these plush make it really easy because they have their names on the hats. And of course, the highly coveted brand new this year, Mickey and Minnie scented gingerbread plush. I personally have purchased these. I actually got them the first day they came out. That's how excited I was about them. And they really do smell sweet like cookies. So highly recommend purchasing those if you haven't already. You can also get them on shopdisney.com. Even more home stuff. Definitely come to Discovery Trading. They've got just as much as the Main Street confectionery, if not more in here. Aprons, kitchen towels, really cute magic ingredient little mickey ornaments on it which are really cute and they've also got really cute plate sets serving dishes and a really really cute clock if you want one for your kitchen that's disney themed this is an adorable one they're sipping sharing a milkshake got little mickey ornaments hanging there on it absolutely adorable I found the ornament drink holders. This is the first place I'm seeing them, is at the popcorn and ice cream cart right outside of Pizza Fari. We've got a snowman with a Mickey Mouse Club ear hat on, which is really cute, and a green bell ornament, whatever you want to call it. And these are drink holders. So you purchase a drink and the holder. They give it to you separately, so if you don't want to get your drink container all dirty, you won't have to wash it out. But these are awesome holiday exclusive here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Come on by and grab one before they're all gone. Creature Comforts, AKA the Starbucks, has some really cute garland here. And if you did not know, and are a Starbucks diehard fan like I am, you can get all of the holiday drinks inside Creature Comforts at this Starbucks that you'd get at any Starbucks, not at Disney World. So if you're a, you know, red cup Christmas drink lover, they have all your holiday favorites here at Creature Comforts. The newly reopened Jawa Bar doing a very nice afternoon business with their cute little Christmas decorations hanging up. I'm here in Harambe. You can see they've added some really cool hanging flags and just African themed decorations here like you would find in Africa. They've got some holly over here on Tamu Tamu. Again, all natural using some gourds that maybe they would have found out here in Africa. And they have decorations here at Animal Kingdom throughout the entire park. It's unlike Magic Kingdom that is only decorated for the holidays on Main Street. You can find decorations around all of Animal Kingdom. You can see more festive flags hanging out here and even some really cool handmade wreaths hanging up. So really take your time as you're going through Animal Kingdom at the holidays. They've got some really neat decorations in all of the different lands. So make sure to experience all of them. Heading on into Dino Land. First thing I noticed though is how cute the Brontosaurus looks. He's dressed fully like Santa, not just a hat. He's got the beard, and he's got little lights all the way down his side. He looks great. Take a listen. Got an awesome Christmas playlist, very upbeat Christmas stuff. And we've got some really shiny tinsel all throughout Dino Land. The main focus points being these really cute trees outside of Triceratops Spin. I'm headed over to Restaurantosaurus right now to see if I can get my hands on one of the holiday treats that they're serving over there. I hope they have it. Just next door to Restaurantosaurus is Dino Bites, where I am going to grab the pumpkin ice cream sandwich. It is a holiday specific treat only. It costs $6.99 and I cannot wait to try it. Here it is, the pumpkin ice cream sandwich. It is covered with sprinkles and sugar crystals, and it is packed loaded with some vanilla ice cream. 
It's got really cute fall sprinkles all around the side of the ice cream as well, and it is pretty massive. I'm really excited to dig into this. I've been waiting to try this for weeks, and I can't wait to see what it finally tastes like. You actually don't need to see me eat, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this, and uh, I'll catch up with you after. Holy oh my goodness, look at all of that vanilla ice cream. It is pack loaded with vanilla ice cream. I just took my first bite, tastes pretty darn good. I'm gonna keep eating and check back in with you for the full review in just a minute. Guys, this thing is amazing. Ah, everything about it is so good, but I'm going to start from the beginning. It is a pumpkin ice cream sandwich. It's sandwiched between two pumpkin spice cookies. So the pumpkin spice in the cookies is very, very, very apparent. It's very spiced, not spicy. There's a lot of spices in it, which when you have it together with the ice cream, the ice cream almost mellows out the pumpkin spice a bit, so you get the perfect amount coming through when you take a bite of the two of them together. The cookies are not warm, but they are soft as the day is long. You could tell they definitely just made them today. And they've got little sprinkles baked into them that they also rolled the ice cream in the sprinkles. And I'm not always a huge sprinkle person, but the sprinkles added a really nice, great crunchy texture. They also had crystallized sugar on top of the pumpkin cookies that gives it a nice crunch. But man, the cookie itself is so soft. I tried it separately. And it's so fresh and so soft. And really good ice cream either makes or breaks a dessert like this. I had ice cream the other night from another Disney place and it was a little bit icy and the whole dessert wasn't wasn't great because the ice cream was a bit icy. This ice cream, super rich, super smooth, really, really just complements that pumpkin cookie amazingly. So for the price point and the size, you can definitely share this with someone. If you try to eat this whole thing on your own, I think the ice cream might be melted by the time you get to the end, but for the price point, the size of it, and how dang good it is, I would absolutely get this again for the rest of the entire holiday season. This would be the treat that I would get at the Animal Kingdom every single time. I would even come here and come out of my way to get it. That is how good it is, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. That's going to do it for me here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Make sure to check out my other holiday videos. I've got Magic Kingdom, Christmas merchandise, and plenty more coming up for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the parks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for the latest video releases. When you're ready to return to the magic, I'd love to help you get here. Contact me at msalerno at mickeytravels.com. All my services from quote to final booking are always free. See you in the parks.